In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the greatest common factor using the F method. So if you look at number one, we have uh, the numbers six and 12 that we're gonna try to find the greatest common factor for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by doing two long Fs. And the reason I choose an F is to help me remember that I'm finding factors or multiplication facts. So I'm gonna take my six, and I'm gonna put a six with my first F, and then my 12 is going to go with my second F. So I always wanna start with one and work my way up when I'm finding my facts. So I'm gonna start with one, and I know one times six is going to give me six. And then I'm gonna go straight up to two. And I know two times three also gives me six. Then I know that I can go to three, but wait, I already have a three here, so I really don't need to keep going on. I can stop there. So once you go up to the next number, if you already have that number that you used in a previous fact, then that means you can stop. So let's go to 12. Start with one. One times 12 is 12. Then I'm gonna go up to two. Two times six is 12. Then I can go to three. And I don't have any threes, so I can continue. So three times four is 12. And then I know that I would try four, but I already have a four in one of my facts, so I can stop. Okay, so then I have all of my factors for six and all my factors for 12. Then what I wanna do, since I'm trying to find my greatest common one between the two, I'm going to look at my factors for six and 12 and circle the ones that are the same. So I see one is the same, I see two is the same, I see six is the same, and I see three is the same. And since it's the greatest common factor, it just means the biggest number that's the same between the two. So out of the circled numbers, I can see already that six is the biggest number that's the same between the two. So I'll know for number one that my greatest common factor, or my GCF, is going to be six. And in this video, I just showed you how to find the greatest common factor using the F method.